Hi, I'm Carl Franklin. In this episode of Blazor Train, we'll unpack the hot reload features in .NET 6 for Blazor development. Microsoft introduced Hot Reload in .NET 6 Preview 1, and the experience keeps getting better. I'm using Preview 4 for this demo, but I don't expect the mechanics to change all that much from now until November. That said, Preview 4 is definitely not feature complete, and we'll definitely revisit this topic. Today's demo is to show you how this little feature will save hours of development time drastically reducing the time it takes for each cycle of edit, build, run, and test. So get ready to take Blazor productivity to the next level with Hot Reload, coming up right now, right here on Blazor Train. All right, before we get started, I got to tell you that this is .NET 6 Preview 4 and Visual Studio 2019 Preview. And so this is the, as of, you know, this recording, this is the latest and greatest. And you need to be on at least Preview 4 to get what I'm showing you right here. But chances are you're going to see this long after .NET 6 ships in November. And so I'm not only going to show you what's available in Preview 4, but tell you what I think you should expect in the future. So I'm starting with a Blazor server application. I just created a regular Blazor server application as a .NET 6 app. Um, I don't have anything special going on. I just thought I'd start there. This is what I would expect to be able to do. Let me run this and pull up index, and I'll put the browser right next to Visual Studio. Now, one thing you'll notice in this preview is that there's this red fire uh, icon right up there, and it's apply code changes. This is your hot reload. And hot reload works in more app types than Blazor, but we're particularly interested in Blazor. So I should be able to say something like, hello, Blazor train heads, whatever. And I should be able to save it, and I want it to update, but it doesn't. Yeah, okay, so that's really not supported with the F5 experience. At least I haven't figured out how to do it yet. What is supported, though, is code changes. Now let's look around here. We don't have any real code that's being run. Oh, we do in the counter. So let's change the counter up a bit. I'm going to add to pages a new class, a code behind class for the counter, because that's code there, counterraiser.cs. And we're going to make the changes we need here. There's that. Now I'll grab the code from counterraiser. Get rid of that whole code block right over there. And put it here. I'll just change this to protected. At least now we have code that we can change. So let's run it split screen again. All right, we'll go to counter. I'm gonna bump up the uh, size so you can see it when I click. There we go. Now it's at four. Now watch this, let's change the code here. And I'll change current count plus plus, which increments by one, as you know, to plus equals two. And I'm just going to click this button here, apply code changes. And now, six, eight, ten. All right, so in debug mode, when the debugger is attached, F5, you can change code without rebuilding, right? So, and you get the current debugging. So this is like the ultimate edit and continue, isn't it? Because you can click the button, change this, Redeploy, continue running, 18, 22, right? So you don't have to stop and rebuild and rerun and everything just to make code changes. But UI, you know, uh, I know it's preview four and, and I can wait 
but I, isn't there something that I can do just to, if I want to make UI changes? I mean, I'm so used to, you know, regular good old HTML, just load it up in the browser and you make some changes, Visual Studio Code or a text editor even, and, and then just save it and refresh the, the browser and everything's there. That's what I want. Well, that's coming in debug mode. But right now, if you're not debugging, you can do it too. And for this, we're going to use a command line command, .NET watch. I'm going to get the directory where this project is from File Explorer here. Just copy that out. And let's pull up a command prompt and navigate to that directory. Now, this is for server. I'm in the project directory. If this is a WebAssembly application, you also want to be in the project directory. If it's a hosted WebAssembly application, you want to be in the project directory under the client project because you're going to be watching files with this .NET watch. Okay? .NET watch watches all the files that you're editing, pulls up a browser for you to use. Now you notice we're not running. We're just editing files. So I can change this back. And as soon as I hit save, there it is. But you also might notice, here, let me pull this up. And I'll make another change here. Watch down at the bottom of this. All right, I'll make a change. I'll hit save. You notice this? File changed, pages, index, razor, and then it reloaded. That's pretty cool. But can I still make changes to code? Yeah, yeah, you can. Let's go over to counter razor. I'm going to change this back to current count plus plus. And I'll hit save. And we'll go to our counter page. One, two, three, four. Change this again to plus equals two. Hit save again. Now notice I'm not clicking on that apply code changes because we're not actually running. We're not actually debugging. But yeah, I can do the whole thing. The whole edit, test, deploy, cycle, that whole cycle for any little change is gone. So what I want, and what I'm pretty sure Microsoft is promising for November, is I want to be able to do the things that I'm doing right now, but while it's running, so I can still have my breakpoints, right? Because right now, I don't have a breakpoint because I'm not debugging, right? There it goes. All right, so let's quickly create a WebAssembly application, see if we can do the same thing. So this one is not going to be ASP.NET Core hosted. It's going to be a standalone. We've got our hot reload WASM demo. It's just a standard project. You saw this. I've pulled up a .NET watch in a command window. I've navigated to where the project is and I ran .NET watch and it's watching. Now let's go to our index page and we'll say, hello WASM and save. File changed, index razor, hot reload of changes succeeded, and there it is. So that, in a nutshell, is what you can do with hot reload today and what you can expect from hot reload in November, or maybe even in the next preview, which should be any time now. Well, you know, this is preview four. You'll figure it out. Back to you in the studio, Carl. As I mentioned before, some things aren't supported in Preview 4. For a complete list of edits you can make, check out this Roslyn wiki page. Or just search the internets for supported edits in Edit and Continue. Hey, thanks for riding the rails with me today. This is where I jump off. I'll see you next time. Blaze a train!